Hey everybody, Benjamin Stallhood II here, but you can just call me Ben. Um, it's been a while, I apologize. Um, it's been a long time uh, since my last tutorial, and I've just been waiting for Xcode 4 to come out and get finalized so that I could actually continue my series with Xcode 4, so I wasn't teaching you guys on uh, something kind of older. Uh, I wanted to make sure as I'm teaching you guys, I'm teaching you guys the latest and most cutting edge stuff. And so I got a lot of feedback from you guys actually when I asked. And a lot of you even came back to me and emailed me and sent me messages. Hey, Ben, love your tutorials. And, you know, yeah, you, you know, you asked for feedback and we're, you know, go ahead and wait for Xcode 4. Uh, so that's what I did. So now that Xcode 4 is out, um, I, I plan on, you know, get trying to get a little bit more active with getting these videos out. I'm hoping to do, you know, um, you know, at my most uh, aggressive level, I'm hoping to get at least one out a week. But, um, you know, if I can try to get at least one out every two weeks, I'll be pretty happy. Uh, what I'm going to do in this tutorial is I'm going to basically amend tutorial one, which is where I go into Hello Coco Touch. I give you guys a very uh, introductory view about Xcode and Interface Builder and creating your first little simple uh, small app. What I'm going to do is uh, to show you Xcode 4 and uh, just some of the cool things um, specifically around Interface Builder that they've added in Xcode 4. Um, I'm just going to basically amend that tutorial. So this is kind of like tutorial 1A uh, or 1.1. And that will lead us into tutorial 2 where we'll get into views. So, uh, so let's go ahead and just um, create a new project. And go ahead and open this up. And you remember this sheet? This sheet looks very familiar. This is our template view. Once again, same thing. We're going to use window-based application. And hello, Coco Touch. For company identifier, like in the portal that I went through, I'm using com.stallhood. So my full bundle identifier will be com.stallhood.hellococotouch. For device family, using just iPhone for now, and no core data, no unit test. Gonna go ahead and just save this to my desktop. And the first thing you'll see when you come in here, uh, Apple's trying to add uh, GUI interfaces to um, all their stuff. So you used to have an info plist editor where you could double click on a plist and you could uh, open up plist and look at them. And that's this is a, a nice review now to kind of the basic function, uh, basic options that you would put in your plist file if you remember. Uh, here from our tutorial where I went into that this is the first file that's opened and all this is is this is giving you a nice view to that to where you can like toggle your device orientations drag and drop uh, images onto these image wells and then just add them to your project um, Apple's trying to make things a lot easier for us here and we'll get into a lot of this stuff in detail as we um, in, in future videos we'll, we'll, we'll start to go through all these things and what you can do um, but right away we have our you know Coco Touch app delegate here uh, and just, just want to do a quick little overview. Uh, first thing is under help, if you go to Xcode help, this is, this is a really great uh, introductory, you know, click to play, you go through and watch this video. I recommend go through, read all this, play the video, get familiar with keyboard shortcuts and all the different new Xcode 4 things. This is the organizer now. Uh, so they have the documentation, um, archives, projects, your repositories, and devices all in in one interface now. Uh, and you can get to it now through a quick little shortcut button now uh, in the upper right, open the organizer. But please, please take the time to, to watch the videos and, and just read through all this stuff to kind of get familiar with the interface. I'll give you a quick overview now though. It's broken into basically four areas or four panes. Um, so basically if you go to Xcode user guide, um, you have your navigator area, utility area, debug area, editor area. Uh, at the top you have the jump bars right here, which is basically kind of a context-aware, intelligent uh, um, bar that lets you navigate through your through your code, and it, it gives you related items and things like that. It's actually really nice as you start to use it. So what we're going to do is we're going to, uh, so this is the navigator area. The navigator area has seven views. So um, this is the, the basically, this is the uh, project navigator that we're on now. Then you have symbols, search, issues. Um, you have your debugging and you have your breakpoints and you have your logs. And you can get to these through command 1 through 7 on your keyboard, respectively. So this is your, so that's your navigator. 
your editor area, and then up here um, you can toggle the different the different areas of view. So this is the bottom, which is the, the debugger area, and then you saw in the thing in the in the in that uh, help you saw you have the utility area. Utility is everything related to um, it's all your other things. Remember in the, the last video we had. I brought up the inspector and the library. Well, here's your inspector and here's your library on the utility view. So this is all your controls and this is the media that's in your project. And then this is your inspector, uh, whatever you're currently inspecting and the properties that you can change on that. So, um, so let's go ahead and uh, get, what I want to show you now is with Xcode 4, it's all integrated in one interface. So if you go to main window nib now, you don't open up interface builder separately. It's actually going to open up in uh, a view something like this, right? So this is your interface builder view here. Uh, this is your default view. If you remember, this is kind of the default view for Interface Builder 2 where it gave you kind of the nice, uh, you know, view of just the objects you're dealing with. But if you remember, I told you guys I like to work in the, in the, uh, in the, cat in the hierarchical view. So if you go down here and you hit and you click this button, it's going to expand it out. And this is the view that I like to work in. And this is the one you guys saw in my last video. Um, so that as we add things, we can actually see the relationships and we can see the z-order index by whatever the bottom most object is. So if we bring up our main view here and we go over and we show our utility view, we have this view highlighted. You'll notice we have um, all the same stuff that you're used to seeing in the inspector view. So this is you have your size, you have your connections uh, for your delegates, um, you have your attributes, and then this is your identity inspector for the type of class it is and, and um, your quick help that will give you, you know, related items you're clicking on, the classes and information for them so you can look it up. And then, of course, this is the, the file inspector, uh, so the actual file itself. So let's go back to, uh, I'm sorry, let's go down here and we're going to, if you remember, just real quick, let's drag a label and drag a button. And we're going to center this. And we're going to double click on it and get rid of the default label text. We're going to double click on our button and we're going to add hello Coco touch. And now this is the difference. This is this is great. So if you remember, we, we went into our app delegates and we added an IVAR and we added properties for our button and for our, uh, you know, for our, um, for our label. And then we went in and we wrote code. Then we had to synthesize it, uh, our properties, and we had to write a, a, you know, a method for the action and, and so on. So this is this is a new, new feature in Xcode that I just love and I want to show you guys. Is if you go over here to this these buttons, you have a system editor and you have your version editor. Um, so you can see versions. But this right here, system editor, when you pull this open, by the way, the default, if you go over here to view, assistant layout, this is where you can change the layouts. And, and when it defaults, it's gonna be on it's gonna be like basically another another vertical uh, view like this. And it makes it tough because you got all this going across your screen unless you've got a you know a huge 30 or 40 inch screen, but I don't. So basically what I did is I went to view and I said I want my assistant editors at the bottom. Okay. So what this does is it shows these are editors showing me the class or objects that's associated with this you know, with my well, what I have highlighted in Interface Builder. So what we're doing here is we're going to control click from our button and we're going to drag down here to the code and look at this. It, it's actually going to allow us to insert it into the code. So if we go here, it's actually already pulling up the fact that it's a UI button and an outlet and we're going to name the property. We'll just we'll call it uh, Hello Coco Touch. And you'll see there they added the property for us, already created, created the IB outlet, and you'll notice it created the IVAR for us too. The great thing also is if you go to the M file, you'll notice it synthesized that for us as well. So it did all these things that we had to do before on our own, it did it for us. And on top of that, if you go into the interface builder and you control click or right click, you'll notice it hooked it up for us as well. We're also going to go down here and we're going to control click again and we're going to, this time we're going to insert an action. We'll just call this, and for the type we're going to create UI button. You'll notice it already has the event touch up inside, so we're just going to leave all that default. And we'll just call this hello, click, click, touch. 
And then here's, here, here's the action. And once again, if you go to the M file, it wrote the function for us, the method. One last thing, let's go ahead and hook up an outlet to the label. So let's do that. Control, click or right click, go down. We're gonna add another property for the, uh, the label. It already knows it's UI label. This is gonna be an outlet. So this is Hello Coco Touch label. And there you go, created the IVAR for us once again. In the M file, if you go up, it synthesized it for us. And so now all we have to do is in our action file, let's say self dot Hello Coco Touch label text. And we'll go ahead and add our little fun message in here. And now if we run this in our simulator, There we go. And so that's just a quick broad overview of Xcode 4. Uh, one of the new features, uh, things I highlighted was the, the major things that I love and uh, that's, that's a major new change is Interface Builder is now integrated. You've got a lot of new things Apple's provided for you that actually writes a lot of code for you now using the Assistant Editor. And uh, our next tutorial that we go into, we'll start to deep dive into one of the most important classes inside UIKit, which is UIView. Literally everything and UI kit that you look at on the screen, including the very first UI window, is a UI view. So I'll see you guys then in the next tutorial.